All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who is who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of His Son, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, who the, world, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, so-called, and the brothers and sisters that's been scattered, that look like the other nations that the scriptures describe as being the confusion of face. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect. Okay, back with another Psalms reading. And I'm going to start at the book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 1. And as always, I'm going to read the heading and get right into the reading. Okay. So this is Psalms 106. It says, Israel's rebellions and the Heavenly Father's mercy. Okay. Psalms 106 and 1. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. O give thanks unto the Lord Yahweh. For he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of Yahweh? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahweh, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not the wonders of Salakia. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and, is, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness, and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. Then believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon, for, they soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted the heavenly father in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp and Aaron, the saint of Yahweh. The earth opened and swallowed up the thine and covered the company of Abraham. And a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshiped the molten image. Thus, they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forget the heavenly father, their savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant, hand, the pleasant land. They believed not his word, but murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of Yahweh. Therefore, he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. 
Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up Phinehas and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed, and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake at unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore, was the wrath of Yahweh kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance and he gave them into the hand of the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Yahweh, our power and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be Yahweh, power of Yasha Allah from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Haman, praise ye Yahweh. Psalms 107. The Psalms exhorts to praise the heavenly father and to observe his manifold providence. Psalms 107 and 1. Give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord Yahweh say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the works of the heavenly father and, con and contemned the counsel of the most high. Therefore he brought them, therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of the darkness and of the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in, us, in sunder. Fools 
because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto Yahweh in their trouble and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that the men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord Yahweh and his wonders in the deep. For he is commanded, for he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wits' end. Then they cry unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that the men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wildernesses, the wilderness into a standing water and a dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blessed them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffered not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet set it he the poor on high from affliction and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things. Even they shall understand the loving kindness of Yahweh. Psalms 108. Uh, David prays for the heavenly fathers. David prays for the heavenly fathers' help according to his promise. A song or psalm of David. Psalms 108 and 1. O Most High, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, sorcery and heart. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Yahweh, among the people. And I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O Most High, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy, that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. The heavenly Father had spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice, I will devise Hashem, and meet out the valley of Sakath. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, 
Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the, into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not they, Salakia, will not thou, O Most High, who has cast us off? And will not thou, thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through the Most High, we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalms 109 and 1. Well, Salakio, Psalms 109. David complains of his enemies to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. Psalms 109 and 1. Hold not thy peace, O heavenly Father, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him. And let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the strangers spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before Yahweh continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because that he remembered not to show mercy but persecuted the poor and needy man that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water and like all into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh And of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O most high power, Yahweh, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through, the, through fasting, and my flesh filleth of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shaked their heads. Help me, O Yahweh, my power. O oh, save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that thou, O oh, Yahweh, has done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame 
and let them cover themselves with their own confusion and with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahweh with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalms 110. The Lord Salakia. Psalms 110. The kingdom, the priesthood, the conquest, and the passion of Yahweh Shai. Psalms 110 and 1. The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness. From the womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord Yahweh had sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after order, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore, shall he lift up the head. Psalms 111. The psalmist incites to praise the heavenly father. Psalms 111 and 1. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. I will praise Yahweh with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of Yahweh are great. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He had made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord Yahweh is gracious and full of compassion. He had given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He had showed his people. The power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. And uprightness. Salakia. He sent redemption unto his People, he hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and, rev and reverend is his name. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalms 112. Security of the godly. Psalms 112 and 1. Praise ye Yahweh. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord Yahweh, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. Oh, Salakia, full and full of compassion and righteous. Okay. Verse 5, Psalms 112 and 5. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely, he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in Yahweh. His heart is established 
he shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He had dis dispersed, he had given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalms 113, exhortation to praise the heavenly father. Psalms 113 and 1. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Praise O ye servants of the heavenly father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Praise the name of, ye, of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. From this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rokakwadash. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto Yahweh our power who dwelleth on high? Who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth? He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dunghill that they may set him with princes that he may set him with princes even with the princes of his people he make it the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children praise ye yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem rakak psalms 114 exhortation to fear the heavenly father Psalms 114 and 1. When Yahshua Allah went out of Egypt, the house of Yaquah, from a people of strange language, Yahweh was his sanctuary, and Yahshua Allah his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest, thou Jordan, that thou wast driven back, ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs? Tremble, thou earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the power of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters." I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect. Until the next reading, Shalom.